Welcome back, everybody. We are here playing Pathfinder for Savage Worlds. We we taught it. Now we're playing it. So I hope that you are learning some things, learning a few tricks and, and tips uh, uh, along the way. But if you have questions, feel free to leave them in our chat or go to our Discord and leave them there. Who wants to recap what happened just in the last hour and a half? Sure. We talked a little bit about ourselves and where we have been and things like that at the tavern. We investigated some questions. We, we learned about the Sandpoint Devil, which is a, apparently a beast of some sort that is that has been terrorizing the town and seems to maybe be involved <coughs> with the the uh, the clay wolves that have been attacking the city. So we all went and did some investigation into what's happening, and we learned that there is definitely strategic attacks happening, that these are not just mindless attacks. These are not just nature. There is some sort of conjuring or something happening. We followed the trail to a strange house, and we noticed that there were uh, scorch-marked hooves that had led us there, and at this house especially. We, through various means, found our way into the house, and learned nothing from the kindly old lady and the owner of the house. Uh, but uh, uh, from one of us who shimmied up to the top of the house, learned that there might be something happening with a boy and a small clay. It's a, it's a, he has a clay toy that is similar to the creatures that we were attacked by. And they, we don't know the origins of it. And we know that it may be tied into it somehow. And now all of our paths are Reconvene reconvening at the top of a flight of stairs, except for Sonny, who went out the window. <laughs> and um, to like to start us back off, my aim is to get to the front door and knock before um, <gasps> before too long. Like basically oh intercept. Gosh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and Phasmin's goal is to just interweave into everybody else as they get to the top of the steps. And then if they ask her, like, "Wait, who are you?" and she goes, "I've been here the whole time. What are you talking? About? I'm just <laughs> short. You just made it. You didn't see me. It's what like." How dare you not do yeah. this, me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. All right, so I love that. So, uh, yeah, uh, everybody kind of meets at the top of the stairs here, and then you begin to kind of go into the room, Thasman, where you know um, Sonny was. Just as you see, Sonny is like the top of his head almost. <laughs> uh, leave the window <laughs> and drop out of the way. He was talking to that kid for like a little while, so he yeah. might know some stuff now. Um, and, uh, the boy looks up and says, oh, uh, are you the ones who are coming to, t to, to look at my statue? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, your friend, uh, my friend, uh, Sunny said that you wanted to look at it, huh. but you had to be very careful. Okay. I lead our magic uh, detect friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's all I am to you, Sucker. Just a magic detect friend. <laughs> and let me, let me know when I, let me know whenever I, I I make it back to the front. Okay, we'll do. And I'm gonna play up the dog. Oh, okay, yeah, and the and yeah, and uh, Thomas says, uh, "Oh, that's that's a blink, and he loves pets." And uh, I like pets too. When I start, petting. that is true. And <laughs> Blank loves pets. Um, <laughs> and he, and uh, Thomas says, "Okay, but um, it's the only thing that I have uh, that my mom gave me. So you have to be really, really careful." I, I'm probably eye to eye with this kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and I'll go. It just in absolute straight face. I'm always careful. <laughs> okay. And he hands it over. <laughs> totally trusting. <laughs> and, then, and then he just shakes his head and then walks over to <laughs> the corner of the room with this. And um, I'm going to detect Arcana, see if I can tell anything about this thing. Okay. While he's doing that, I'll, I'll get the boy to talk a little bit about who his mom is. Essentially what he's already started telling yeah. uh, Sunny. And that's a, that's a perfect uh, way of... Making sure you, you don't end up with a bored child, which is never good. And I'm going to be like, hey, hey, pup, do you have any toys? And I'm going to open the chest looking for dog toys while this is happening. Uh, that's a 22. Whoa. That's amazing. <laughs> and I and I so I added the identify modifier to that as well. So noted. OK, this seems subtly magical. It does not give you the strong feeling of magic that you were getting from outside. Mm. So it definitely seems connected 
and it kind of has a little vibration to it. Um, but it does not seem to be, it seems to be connected, but it doesn't seem to be a source. Okay. Where did you get this lad? My mom gave it to me. She was a lore master. She's very smart. Right. I I heard about your mom. Um, Mm -hmm. Everybody likes my statue. Right. Did she ever tell you where she got it? Mm Mm-hmm. Where? I don't remember. It was on a trip. She used to bring stuff back to me all the time. Was it on a trip with your father? No, she was the one who would go on trips and then she'd bring things back and then they would study them together. It was very boring. About how she long usually ago? brought me candy. How long ago did she bring this, uh, this back to you? Uh, it was right before she uh, couldn't be here anymore. It's been it's been kind of a while. And he hands it back to to the kid and he says, I just kind of he kind of turns away from him and kind of over his shoulder to Thasman or whoever is kind of nearest to him at that point, um, or to both Thasman and Silgrek, he's just like this isn't where the magic that I sensed outside is coming from. <gasps> you sense magic outside? Yes. What does magic smell like? Uh, it can it smell like all kinds of things, yeah. Does it smell real bad? Sometimes. Have you, like, s- have you smelled magic before? Like... And the smell of roses cover the smell of magic? Burning eggs? Mm. Hey, hey, buddy, have you been smelling the smell of strange burning eggs? Wait. Zok, isn't that what sulfur smells like? It, it is. Did I, did I get I smell any, it at night. Did I get sulfuric smells when I, when I detected the hooves? Or just, just an infernal, just an infernal, <laughs> yeah, reveal there for you, okay. identification. I look over at Thasman and I go, "You, you said something about roses covering it. Uh, what, what made you say that?" Oh well, when I was coming up the stairs with you, yes, I smelled a bunch of roses coming from the room next door. I smelled that when I was coming up up the stairs, stairs with, you. with me. Understood. Because it smells bad outside at night. It does, does it? But I don't want my room to smell like roses. Have mm. you noticed anything else when you smell this smell? No, I'm supposed to be in bed. Uh huh. But sometimes we're not always doing the things that we should be doing. Are you ever sneaking out or no. noticing? Are you sure? And I uh-huh. lean down and I go, it would be our little secret. I don't sneak out. I'm only nine. That's true. And it's dangerous outside. There's wolves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, do you ever see what's going on? Uh, once there was this really big shadow thing and it was kind of, but then it was also like fire for a minute. And then it's, it smelled, uh, it smelled like, uh, it smelled like farts. Yep. That's, uh, that's good old sulfur. (laughs) First off, you should change your diet if that's what you're smelling. Second of all, uh. I will not eat vegetables. You cannot make me. (laughs) The vegetables causing the problem. Depends on the vegetables. Um, so, so you saw some fire. Me eat my vegetables. What? You saw. Sorry, you saw some fire. Uh, it's kind of a glow, like a fiery glow, like in the uh, fireplace, like a glow. 
Uh-huh. Not like fire or fire, because that would then the house would be on fire and that would be bad. Ah. Of course. It's still like an ember, like a like a burning ember of wood. No, like uh a dark shadow and then like uh like it kind of uh glowed real bright and I shut my eyes and then it, and then I could smell I could smell farts. And you said that smell happens. <laughs> it's clear that most he's not nights. supposed to say this and he knows it. <laughs> Um, not, not every night. Well, I don't know. I don't always, I don't usually sleep with my window open all the time anymore because it smells bad. Here's a question. When you smell it, where would you think it's coming from? Do you think it might be coming from the stables or from, from the room next door, the kitchen? It kind of fills up like the whole house because it smells so strong. If you have Has the window only... open, the whole house is going to smell like it. On the nights when you smell that, uh-huh. does it happen on the same nights that you later hear there was a wolf attack? Huh, yeah. Do wolves smell like farts? Sometimes. Okay. Depends on their diet. <laughs> Vegetables. Sometimes they, they eat little boys and mm-hmm. then they fart. And they smell she, like, like that. Elbows. She elbows. Yeah, I, I oh, elbow. Yeah. I, That's I, I like. Yeah, we both do at the same time. Like, <laughs> why are you elbowing me? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I apologize for my friend. Um, why? He's right. That's why I can't go outside tonight. It's, it's dangerous. <laughs> that is true. It is dangerous. But you don't want to say. He's We're right. not trying to scare you. <laughs> At least two thirds of us are not trying to scare you. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. I think you should risk it. <laughs> None of us is actually failing at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, so like, it's at night. His, I had opened his trunk looking for dog toys. Did I find oh, yeah. anything else in there besides like, anything that was interesting or anything that, that might have made uh, Zock? notice something or anything like that Mm -mm. kid stuff cool dog stuff okay (laughs) um sunny you have been at the front door i'm so sorry no worries no worries and um i'm assuming you knock yep and a very ancient lady answers the door and she says oh more visitors uh yes uh, hey sorry for uh the inconvenience i believe mark i've already made some tea (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I believe my colleagues have uh, been uh, been by to see you. Oh. Uh, we're investigating events in the events in the uh, in the city proper, and uh, they've let us hear. Uh, oh. They uh, why? They, uh, Do you well, think uh, something is happening? Perhaps, perhaps Here? Uh, in our house. You, you mind if I come in? I believe my uh, my associates are already here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and she lets you in and she says, what, what can I do to make it safer? Well, if, uh, are you, uh, is it just you in the house, ma'am? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm Mother Kilcarney. Uh, and I, I'm, uh, well, I, I, I work for Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan's in the, in the study. And then, uh, I take care of little Thomas and, uh, little Thomas is supposed to take care of his dog. Yes. Very, very nice. Could I speak with, uh, with, uh, um, with the master of the house? Oh, of, of course. And she leads you through to the study. Uh, and uh, you see a gentleman sitting there, and he's going through papers. And he goes, oh, what'd my son say? Excuse me. Uh, did you not just come from upstairs? My compatriots visited you earlier. I'm their supervisor, and I'm coming to oh. investigate their progress. How many of you are there? And what are you investigating? I am the last of us. <laughs> oh, that, isn't in, that isn't in town. Okay. And uh, I've, recon- I've reconvened with my fellows, and they've... they've uh, my my friends and they've uh, they've spoken with me, sir. 
Where is your young son's mother at the moment? She passed. Sorry to hear that. Uh, to be, to be frank with you, sir, there is, uh, there's an energy, a, uh, an arcane energy that lingers around your home. Oh. Uh. Can we hire you to... I don't know, cleanse the house or whatever it is that you need to do. I want to keep everyone safe. <laughs> Sir, I, I don't believe you're being 100% truthful with me. Okay, about what? And you'll have to understand that it's a little offensive to come into my house and call me a liar when I have known you for 45 seconds. Yeah, that's, that's, fair, that's fair indeed. But to be quite honest with you, when it comes to the safety of the, the people in this town, I'm not particularly plussed about uh, being rude. People are in danger, and I mean, and I mean to protect them. Okay, do you want to cleanse the house? I will pay you. Would that help? Because that would, I also do not want to be in danger. I have a seven, nine-year-old son. <sighs> and the old lady. Like a mother to me. All right. Um, Sonny's just gonna like lean back and look at him, just scan him. Um, he does and... exactly the same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going, I'm going to be, I'm going to be gently honest with you at first, and then I'm going to not be so gentle. It would behoove you to take the opportunity where I'm gently honest with you to answer me fairly. Do you understand? Just say it. I have work to do. Yes, don't we all? Look. I'm going to hire you for some work. According to my fellows, my friends, my compatriots, you and the, you and that boy's mother examined items in her, uh, in her placement as a lore master and, and, uh, an item that is in his possession currently I mean, it's that same arcane energy that we find around your house. Now, bear in mind, again, this is the gentle inquiry that I'm going to make. You claim to not know about anything here, but... if I don't know anything about magic. One of that one of that lad's possessions is connected to the energy around this house, and it is something that his mother gave to him. That's horrible. Could you tell me how old his how old that child is again? Nine. All right. Just to be just to be clear, out of character, he's given me three different ages, yeah. <laughs> he is not the most aware parent 
Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and so earlier today, he definitely thought his kid was seven. And then he was like, no, he's recently had a birthday. That kid's eight. And Mother Mo- Cole Carney is like, he's nine. <laughs> so now he's like seven. No, he's nine is what you're getting there. It doesn't seem like a trick as much as it just seems like bad parenting. <laughs> Absent minded parenting more than anything else. He is worried about his kid. Okay. Look, if you, I am happy to hire you to cleanse this house. Uh, Thomas and Blink, his dog, and Mother Kilcarney and I can go stay at the inn. You can have the house for the night. Cleanse it. I'll pay you. If it helps the whole town, great. If it protects my son, it's enough. Fairly well. Does your did uh, did his did his mom have any notes or any any sort of journals that she kept inventory of the items that you've collected? Uh they're in the library. We'll need to peruse them. Okay, I mean, whatever you need to do, we'll leave the house. (sighs) Don't leave just yet. I'm not staying while you cleanse magic from my house. That seems dangerous. Don't leave just yet. You are very close to being escorted out of my house. (sighs) Forgive me. If you don't mind, we may we may need you to stay just a little longer. Is that all right? Well, of course, it's going to take some time for the kid to pack and everything. And Mother Cole Carney is going to need to pack. And she's going to want to make a picnic basket. And you know how women are. <laughs> all of you are like, no. <laughs> Another time I might ask you how how women are how how women are indeed, but I'm gonna go uh, convene with my compatriots. Uh, okay, and maybe we'll be on better terms when you come back down. <sighs> on the way out of the door is like, wouldn't hold your breath, mate. And <laughs> I'm gonna head upstairs. Okay. Um, and you you pass Mother Kilcarney, who's uh, coming to clean up the tea. Um, in the hallway, and she's like, oh, did you get what you needed? After a fashion. Is everything okay? As it can be. Uh, Are we safe? That remains to be seen. But we'll try and do our best to make sure you're as safe as you can be. Oh, please. Um, I would... uh, would appreciate it. We're probably going to be perusing the library very shortly. May uh, if uh, if there's anything uh, the uh, the mistress of the house uh, might have kept out of the library, uh, if you could avail us of it, we'd be much appreciative. That's half the library. Anything that she might have kept out of the library, I mean. Oh, uh, no, she's pretty. I'll, I'll look. I'll, I'll Thank look. you. Okay. And yeah, at this point, I'm just going to head back to my friends. Okay. And I'm telling you that wolves will eat little boys. It happens. It's true. <laughs> I'm just saying you're going to give the kid nightmares and he's already got a lot going on. And there's there's sulfur and brimstone and things he's, happening right outside his window. a magical wolf terracotta thing. We fought those things. <gasps> it's magic? Whoa. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so Greg stands up and he goes, it's not magic. I mean, it don't is. Want it, to scare the little kid? It's, it's a little his, bit magic. It's a kind of magic. Yes, it's a little kind of magic. I give up. <laughs> um. Cool. So could what I did you say to that? Could could I borrow that for a moment? No. Nope. Again, please. It, it's magic. Uh huh. And it's mine. Right? Right. Right? 
and I uh, would like to see it again, please. You be very careful. He's always careful. Again. I'm always careful. And he hands it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone downstairs. You're going to run into me. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Drop the statue. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, hello. Sorry. Uh, are you... What are you doing here? I was uh, coming, by, coming by to make sure that uh, the investigation was going uh, swimmingly. Had a little uh, chat. It's always going swimmingly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fasman. Right. And this little voice from behind everybody goes, "My dog is magic." Uh, right. I'm. I. I want everyone in the front room now. Wait. Do you think he meant the toy dog or the actual dog? Because we didn't really check. I play with the dog. It was a sweet little dog. But hey, hey, Thomas. Hey. When did you get Blink? Uh, uh, right. Sort of after, um, when I was real sad. So after you, you lost When I was sad. Okay. Uh, quick, uh, based on the information we got talking in the tavern, how long have these attacks been going on? Uh, about three weeks. About three weeks. Okay. When? And he said that his mom has been gone for a while. Right. Right. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. All right. There's only one person that we haven't really talked to yet. Who? Mother Kilkarni. Kilkarni. And I want to have everyone in the room with this item... And I want to talk to them right now. All right. They seem they seem to be under the impression that we are going we are meant to cleanse the house. I'm not sure it's as simple as all that. <laughs> how how did they get under that impression? I don't do cleansings. I haven't done a cleansing in like I don't know, like a year. You I used to do them, but they were they were total stars. I, like, I, I burned total. sage, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, I believe a, they believe a magical cleansing is in order, not a, not a, uh, not a custodial one. But right. yeah, I think we all got that. I think what we're confused by is how they got under that impression. Is that something that that wait we didn't say anything? I did not. Ma- I did not make that offer. That is an offer that he ju- that uh, the mister of the house jumped to when I mentioned that we were investigating. Sonny, this. why does this uh, always happen when we let you go away? This is <laughs> you know what I'm trying. <laughs> just you know, I know a lot of con artists who would be like, "Oh, I didn't steal from them; they gave it to me," and that's what you sound like right now. I just want to put that out there as like this a re- thing you can take for yourself for later to work on what this- you're putting out. This is really a point of contention with us. I, I, I'm just saying, he, he wasn't angry at me or asking me to cleanse a house. That's <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite a high horse for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you all arrive back downstairs in the living room. Yeah. Or the now. parlor. Like while and I'm he walking. Says, oh, it's a, now we're having a meeting. Okay, mm-hmm. this is better. Yes, we're we're actually looking for one more person. Uh, where did oh. Mother Kilcarney go? Uh, and, and she kind of steps out from around the. She's like, <laughs> I'm I'm right here. Amy can only do so many costume changes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I just want yeah the pipe with the yeah, yes too much. everything. It's great. I can do one at a time. One and a half at a time. All right. She's like, oh, I'm here. All right. (laughs) This little doodad right here. Right. You, Mr. Mr. Historian, your wife brought it back. Did she know? Correct. (laughs) All right. It took a while for you to answer. (laughs) Do you know the history of it? 
Uh, I could find papers on it. I, it's, it's, it's not really a very valuable object, or it'd be in a museum. Hmm. It's not really. It's, it's a trinket that you would get. I, I, you understand I, that it looks exactly like the creature wolves that have been attacking the town, right? Like, for I, like I, three I, weeks. I pretend like I grab it and I say, and so if if it's not worth anything and if I break it, what would you do? And I know Thomas is going to react, but I'm looking specifically for Miss Kilcarney's reaction to that. Uh, and uh, Mr. Morgan says, I'm going to be very upset with you if you upset my son. And Thomas is just like, oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Right. Yeah, and uh, and I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at Tom- Cardi, Get your stuff together. Uh, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at. Uh, look at Thomas, and then just flash the coin again, like mine. Okay. Oh, and he's he's like he looks really confused, and then he's like, just remember me. Kind of like tuck tucks down, like okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it better not backfire. Right. And then put it away. Okay. And, and uh, once you once you guys see the coin, you all have one. Mm-hmm. Like you all actually have one, That's like, true. and and you know why you have it. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, uh, and so everybody make a notice roll because that's yeah. we're looking for reactions, right? Yeah. yeah. Because I don't trust her. She is so sus. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm I'm with you at this point. I I trust uh um I trust um I'm gonna spend what's his name um. The father. Yeah, I trust the father more, but I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> yeah. Probably mutual. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, three. Yeah. Did I, I want to spend a Benny. I, I just want to do better. <laughs> <laughs> My first one was better, so I'll stick with that. Uh, Gosh, I spent a Benny, but. Oh, cool. I, for some reason, Ooh, didn't see my. Worth dance. it. Maybe. Worth it. <laughs> there you go. All right. So yeah. I've got. What do I have? I have a nine from Zoc. So a success with a raise. Uh, Sogrek and Sunny have successes. With the raise. Sogrek's yeah. Well, Sogrek has a sex w- success with a raise, and then Thasman has uh, puppy time is what's happening over there. No, I, I got I got a success. I had a four. I rolled a, I rolled a Benny to do better. Oh, I and it didn't. Better. Okay, oh, but okay. you did. So I did All get right. one success. Got yeah. it. Perfect. All right. So um, those of you with successes, uh, everybody is kind of like, holy crap, are you about to break this kid's toy? Right. Um, successes with a raise. Um, you're like... Mr. Morgan may or may not punch somebody in the face in a minute if this kid gets upset. Yep. Um, Thomas is trying really hard not to cry. Right. Um, and Mother Kilcarney looks absolutely shocked at your behavior. <laughs> I hand it back to Zach. I go, I wouldn't actually do that. But I would. And he, he, uh, I'm going to conceal Arcana from this. Okay. Uh, and, uh, he's just going to announce, I'm taking whatever magic was in this little item away. All right. You shouldn't even be having something this dangerous in the house, especially at the hands of a nine-year-old. Do you need to cleanse the house? We could leave. And uh, Mr. Morgan says, I've already offered that. I, I would love to pay them to cleanse the house. Well, well, we can talk rates if you want to pay us to cleanse. Of course, we can do that. But, <laughs> but in the moment, I think we should focus on what, what Zoc wants to do right now. <laughs> like as a first step. Consider it like a lost leader. I don't think we should be in here <laughs> if magic things are happening. Mm. Uh, all right. Um, so I cast that, at, at the, with the strong, uh, level. So okay. that, uh, detection rolls to see through the concealment are made at a minus two. Um, and, uh, I go, well, there, it's done. It's all right. It's safe now. So if you don't mind, we'll be taking it just to study from here on out. Thomas oh, it's, it's wails. He loses it. 
And uh, the father says, get out of my house. Are they on my way? <laughs> turns around. You'll be like, leaving the toy. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't understand. This toy was a magical item that you should have Which is have no added. longer magical, and right. you will leave it. Right. It is the last thing right. no. the boy has I, I from know. his mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're leaving it. You're welcome to stay the night and do whatever investigation you want, but you will leave the boy's memory intact. You're being awful quiet, Mother Kilkarni. It's only one person playing all three characters. I know. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I don't know what you want me to say. I think we should leave and let you do the investigation, but you're being very cruel. I love her so much. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> All right. Thomas. I, I go up to Thomas, and I normally I would I, 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 I imagine myself kneeling down for a kid, but I'm probably shorter than he is, so I probably, like, find a little, like, footstool and step up on the footstool, and I, like... Um, put like a casual calming like arms on him and I go I'm really sorry that he scared you about your statue I know I, know how important. I, I have I have been sad very similarly to how let me let me give you a hug can I give you a hug no okay I will I my dog I... suck Sock. Fine, here, have your dog back. I don't like it. I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> he runs upstairs. Yeah, and she like lets him go. She turns around, she kinda rubs her face, and she goes. Mm -hmm. Mr. was it Morgan? Mr. Morgan yes. was the Mr. Morgan. When did Thomas get his puppy? Right after my wife died. When was that? About a year ago. Okay. Does that align with when? No, it doesn't. Never. Only three weeks ago, things started. Okay. Has anything changed recently? Magic. You guys. Right. Uh, More, less recently than this afternoon, like last three weeks. No, except for all the howling around town. And sometimes it smells really bad at night. What does it smell like? And then I'm watching Miss Kill Carney. I just want him to, like, he can explain it probably the same way. It smells like rotten eggs. And she says, oh, it's awful. I have to put rose everything in my room or it's just, I can't sleep. It's the worst. I can almost taste it. <laughs> Maybe she is just that old lady. <laughs> That's what old ladies want you to think, Zog. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think we're any closer than we were before we knocked on that door. Um, no. Which, of course, I was part of. Um, and then I... I want to go back outside. I think I'm like, I feel like we're just making things worse here. right Everybody, now. Everybody please make uh, a common knowledge roll. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm re-rolling. Okay. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a Benny just to see if I can get a little better. Okay. Smart. Yeah, not really, but I'll leave it. No, it's, it's great. It's plenty. Yeah, I will stick with that. This... Okay, so it dawns on. So what we have so far is that this stuff definitely is happening at night. Happening at night, mm -hmm. you have tracks outside, so you know it has to be something big is happening here, mm -hmm. but only at night. And you have had multiple offers for them to vacate the premises to let you have <laughs> full access. Mm -hmm. But we don't want them to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want them to get away. Yeah, that's, but yeah. that's the thing. 
<laughs> that but, is the thing. But I, I, I see what you're what you're like. You don't want them to what? To, to like leave to leave. The to leave yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe persuade them to, that it's not that dangerous. Uh, I'll persuade them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. mate, what you've already. You've already made a child uh, uh, cry uh, since we've been here. Yeah, I, I got this. I, I, I think I'm the only one here who hasn't pissed anybody off yet. So I'm going to try this out. Yeah. Um, so then I, I go to Mr. Morgan and I go, look, I'm, I'm really sorry that my friend's sometimes unorthodox way of communicating um, ruffled some feathers. I apologize for that. Uh, he looks really is, relieved that somebody else can see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a thing. Um, and, I, you know, we're not we're not all people, people sometimes from what some of us are, are magic people and, and hammer and sword people. And that doesn't always make for friendly folks. So I apologize for that. I think maybe this miscommunication is that we are definitely happy to help you to try to cleanse whatever magic is happening in your home. It's good for the whole town. It's good for you. I think the, the miscommunication is that we don't know if what's happening is somehow unintentionally or inadvertently tied to you and your family or the kid's dog. And I think that disrupting the status quo and having you leave for the night could actually have the unintended effect of then the magic effect is not happening. So then we wouldn't be able to learn what it is or stop it. So I know that as much as you don't want to stay in a home with a magical effect, if you could just give us one more night and let us study it with you in the home, trying to keep you as safe as we can, it would probably do a lot more than if you left. That makes a lot of sense. That's literally what I was about to say. Well, you didn't. Stop, mate, and so stop now talking. I did. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> so how about um, uh, we'll have, we'll kind of uh, secure ourselves in my larger bedroom, I can make a pallet for Mother Kilcarney. We can bring her bed in. And the, the boy loves, you know, a camping out sort of. And then you can have the rest of the house, but we'll still be kind of safely in that room. Would that suit you? I think that's a very good compromise. And I really appreciate Not, I don't want to leave the boy alone in his room if something's happening. I understand. I know you sent three strangers up there to talk to him earlier, but I understand <laughs> that. Drag him. You are just being a concerned father. And I understand. I, you know what? I, I lost my family. So I know how hard it can be and how much you want to cling to those who matter to you. And so we, we, Last thing we want to happen is anything bad to happen to you or your son or your lovely housekeeper. And so what you need to do to keep make you feel safe is what we'll let you do. But we just need you to stay in the home so that we can like make sure things are still happening the same way they normally would. So Okay. That makes good sense. And uh if you don't mind, I'd like to uh my uh my friend Zark, I'd like to uh have him apologize to the boy, if I might. I, I should too, I guess. I think there's a couple of apologies that could happen. <clears throat> I look at Sonny and I look look at like I, I does he like look at Sonny <laughs> when he says that? Like <laughs> Yeah, Sonny, I think maybe apologies all around might go a long way. <laughs> I, apologize, I apologize to you, sir. And to the mother of homes, uh uh, Mother Kilcarney. And she says, oh, dear, there's no, of course not. No, we just had a misunderstanding. It's OK. It's OK. Of dears. course. Of course. <laughs> and I, I will make supper for everyone. I would really, really like for my mate Zark to personally apologize to Thomas. Well, I, I'm just going to go make dinner while you work it out. <laughs> and of course. She Leaves. <laughs> she leaves. Yeah. Uh, and Mr. Morgan uh, just kind of looks at you guys and is like, I guess I'll just go up to my study while you figure out what's happening, I suppose. Sure. Okay. Really? You, you yeah, really. Just, yeah, of course. But he he's the <clears throat> one who brought that that thing. That thing it's not okay. I didn't He is really, a child. He is he is a child. Maybe he needs to learn. Clearly, well, 
To learn what? Not to want your stuff broken by a grand grumpy dude who comes into your house? Yes. I mean, that's kind of weird, right? Like, yeah, you know, it is kind of weird when a grumpy and... dude comes in your house and tries to break your toys. Yes, it's very weird. Right, so he should up. learn. He should learn. Zot, bra- no, you're Zot going the brass wrong way. <laughs> Zot brass tax. If you don't apologize to the kid, it's going to be a problem later, yeah? And this is when you realize you have been arguing so long <laughs> that night <laughs> has fallen. Yes! Zot just, like, dug his heels in and will not, like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. and it it kind of dawns on all of you at the same time because uh, nobody has lit anything in this room either. You've <laughs> just been screaming at each other. Uh, so uh, the like you could smell dinner has probably happened. Like you have been in it, uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us back to light. So that we can see the screen, but we must imagine that it is darkness outside. Um, and that's about all the, ooh, do I have, I have cloudy? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> you're like, no, that's fog report. Don't touch it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I saw, uh, got it. Uh, and so, yeah, so <laughs> night falls and it's like, you can hear a little bit of murmuring above you, which is probably the family talking. Um, Cause you're literally right below the master bedroom there. Uh, and you all kind of fall silent at the same time as you realize that it's just darkness now. And that is when you hear the sound, that large, unnatural, two-toned, double-toned howl. And you hear it coming from upstairs. I run upstairs. Yeah. yeah, same. Okay, which I cannot. I like click to imagine on the beginning of that scene was like us just like rubbing our temples, going, "No, it's just because he's a kid; he doesn't understand things." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay for him not to understand it. <laughs> you don't like, have to God, heighten so every conversation. Wait, so <laughs> okay. I realize you were born as an old man. <laughs> no excuse <laughs> to completely ignore the adolescent and childhood experience. <laughs> Some of us didn't get to have full childhood, Zuck, and maybe we don't want to take it away faster than it has to be. Jeez. Uh, I no. love <laughs> No. No. <laughs> As you get upstairs, you smell nothing but sulfur, and y- the door to this bedroom is open, so you can see this oh, bedroom no. <laughs> is filled with this creature that oh, looks... Dear. Like this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Nope. Nope. Thanks, <laughs> nope, Hero Forge. That. This mini is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Do not and, care for that. And you realize this must be indeed the Dull Beast. And we are in a combat. More like Pegasus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 